Hello, YouTube. The time has come for the reveal of the first wrap of my Hulk 181. Now, hopefully, it came out well. I think it did. This is going to be a short upload because all we're going to do is just check it out and see how we did in relation to color match, into filling the holes. And then after I'll do a short but sweet before and after montage. So let's see how we did. Bum, bum, bum. I have to say, this is the first time that I am looking at it. And I am extremely happy. Now, I think the color match is as close as I can get it. So what I do is I take my tool and I gently loosen up the leaf casting because sometimes it does stick to the Rame paper so slightly. So if I, I, I'm very happy. I think the color is very nicely matched. I think it filled in beautifully. I think I missed the graphics, which is what I wanted to do. That didn't stick too well, but we're gonna leave that. So let's gently remove it from the Rame paper. And let's see how the other side looks. Now you have to understand that this matches very well compared to this, uh, uh, the other pieces of the pulp, because I did do the whole spine. But on the other side, most likely, I'm gonna predict that we are going to see some variations in the color, which is fine because remember, I wanted the spine on the opposite side to be the complete spine so the page can be functionable. So I think it's this is the best leaf casting job that I did so far in my short career and I'm very happy it's not thick it blends in beautifully let's take a look at the opposite side the opposite side is quite well I think it as well and as I indicated that I didn't do that well but we're just gonna leave it so it blends in very nicely it fills in all the holes and the reverse side definitely does look better because I did do the whole spine, but I'm pretty happy. So kudos to me. I think that all my improvements definitely worked. All the attempts of trying to get the best color match definitely worked. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna leaf cast the center fold because the bottom staple is detached. I'm gonna do that off camera. And then we're gonna start working on the staples. And just to let you know, I'll remove the staples in the next upload. And we'll talk about staple conservation and we'll see what we can do. I know Roger Metarog suggested to use vinegar, which I've used in the past on many different applications to remove rust. I think we're gonna do that. So stay tuned, YouTube, and enjoy the before and after. Take care. Mm -hmm.